Fucking headline, you have to do something to arrest, arrest the disturbance and the distraction. So I thought I'd start with that. Anyway, this is a fucking hell, what a fucking star. Captain Up Nice. Bastards. In a little tin can Actually didn't He lived in store That was just One of his jokes I miss him and I would have liked to kiss him and shake his hand He was a funny man Sometimes you see an American Sometimes he's singing Cockney Even though his dad was from Dolly How he managed to survive on an egg a day I'll never understand He was a funny man At Christmas He'd have a Malteser There were five birds all over his he was an anxious geezer Probably never had a bag of chips in his life Except silicone chips When he was doing his downloads And his sonic experiments With Robert Fripp Thank <laughs> you. 
bit more drums, please, Mr. Soundman. Where's the Soundman? He's over there. Over there. Oh no, he isn't.
Okay, here we go. Nobody knows that he lives in a house. Nobody knows that he lives in a tree house. Nobody knows that he lives in a shack. He likes wood. Yeah. Yeah, slap back on his mouth, please.
sick of working for this bunch of cowboys. I'm not going back. Too many roads to travel. Too many sights to see. This shirt's too tight. This shirt's too white. I want to go to Bender. Windows, doors, conservatories. Windows, doors, conservatories. Plastic, glass, plastic, plastic, nasty, nasty. Windows, doors, conservatories Round and round my head I'm sick of working for this bunch of twats I wish that I were dead Stunted man, stunted man I'm stunted, I'm stunted, I'm stunted man I'm sleeping in the spare room I'm on my knees I want to go to the seaside Send me kid to the seaside Use the gym again Get back in shape Door to door to door to door I can't face another door no more Too old, too tired, too low, too wide Too long, too long, can you stir it please? One day I'll fly away Throw my tie away Talking bollocks, nine to five I need to knock it on the head I wanna grow a beard 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 Walking down the street and I see an old guy He looks at me and he sees an old guy We look at each other and we see old guys We're both gonna die <laughs> right, He's an old guy and I'm an old guy But I don't think of myself as an old guy And he's got a flat cap and so have I and We're both gonna die It's 2022, it's 2022 I can't believe it's 2022 and I've been on this planet so pretty long and I'm getting a little bit tired. There's one old dad's a nice old woman. There's a little old woman, she's a nice old woman. And I think to myself, what am I doing? What's going on? I'm standing on the grass, I'm standing on the grass. I'm standing on the grass, I can't run on the grass. I can stand on the grass, I can't run on the grass. I've got a dodgy knee. I love football, I like watching football and I think to myself, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. And I, I fucking can't. <laughs> tablets, tablets, I take loads of tablets. I'm standing in the bathroom, looking at me tablets. I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to take my tablets today. Half price fish and chips, half price fish and chips. I get on a bus, I've got a fucking bus pass. I go to London, I've got a senior rail car. It's fantastic. I could go to Brixton, I can go to Beeston, I can go to Bristol, I can go to Barcelona, I can go anywhere, anywhere I want. The world's my oyster. It's not a bad life, it's not a bad life. I like a nice piece of cake and I've got a good wife. I'm not even married and I've got a good wife. But I like a glass of fucking wine. There's old Spanish and there's Italian, Welsh old guys, German old guys and Irish old guys. We're all gonna die. Je suis mort, je suis mort, je suis mort, je suis mort. And I'm bloody Irish and I don't know the Irish, but we're all gonna die. And he's an old guy and I'm an old guy. There's loads of old guys. We just sit around, bore each other to tears, bore each other to tears, talking about fucking punk. He's an old guy and I'm an old guy. I won't talk to him because he's an old guy. I won't be his friend because he's an old guy. And we're both gonna die.
just found out I've got 44 years to live All my ambitions have all gone up in smoke Life turned out to be just a tragic joke I just found out I've got 44 years I could have been a fucking architect I could have been a road man I could have been a yardie I could have been a dealer A wheeler, I could have been a car salesman Working in the garage, nine to five, yeah
I just saved my hero's life on a mountain in Italy. And me and my wife are back together again and we're connecting. We're doing the quick crossword. We're sitting there quietly happy at the kitchen table. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good Christmas this year. We've got our mittens on and we've got a little hot water bottle each. And we're just grinning. We're grinning in the kitchen. I got a phone call from my mate. Sorry, I got a phone call from Ralph. Yeah, he rang me up four days before Christmas and he said, would I like to come down to his studio and see workings and I said, oh, I said uh, yeah, I said yeah, I did, I was really excited, I was going to go and see Ralph, and I packed my little suitcase, my little boxes, my little oblong suitcase, with a little metal clasp on the edges, and I had, I had some sandwiches, and some crosswords to do. I got on the train, going down to Sussex on the train. And it's a lovely, it's a lovely journey is the train. People are just meeting up again and, and chatting and what can I do? Because it's Christmas. People are saying hello again, Trevor. I've not seen you in three years. You're looking a bit slimmer. You must have been working out, Trevor. People are just trying out new drinks. And the turn carries on on the stage. Thinking, shall I do Mustang Sally now? And I'm thinking, I'm, there's no way. There's no fucking way. You're getting Mustang Sally from me. You're getting tribute bands. Just take the drum down now, Max. I'm going to tell this little story. Yeah, mate, go on. Everything go down, everything go down, guitar down, bass down. Right, I'm on the train down to see Ralph, and he's uh, he's waiting for me, and it's a journey of three, four hours, and I'm I'm going to Sussex, somewhere in Sussex. It's in the store, it's not actually a really a real event, so it's in that general area. So, so anyway, I'm, I'm making my way on the train and it's nice because I'm on the train. There's nothing nicer than a train when you're travelling because it just goes in a straight line forever. You just sit there and you can do what you like. You can look at the grass through the window. You can just rub your fingers on the glass and, go and walk, walk a bit further. And you can be going faster than the train because you're travelling when you're walking down to get a coffee. You'd be moving faster than... In the carriage C that you're on. Can you put them fucking lights on? <laughs> because a teacher would have so many problems. If a teacher was like giving a lesson and, and we were talking to a fucking room of darkness with like the psychedelic lights, kids would be drifting off and they'd be getting reports and saying, he's a bit of a dreamer. He looks like a reader. Everybody would be a fucking, yeah. So this is a story, and this is a bit of a dreamy story. It's not a real story. It's just a story that goes, I'm carrying on now because I'm on the train, I'm nearly there now and I'm just getting a bit excited palms of my hands getting a bit sweaty and I get and then I get off and I've got my ticket and I remember my ticket and my little and I get up and there's a little path running up to a, a little cottage a little house up on the hill and I walk up the hill and I'm, I'm, I'm on holiday I'm going to see Ralph it's like it's like going to see a lover when he's a man and I'm heterosexual I think ah! and I'm traveling I'm, and I'm walking up to I'm walking up to this cabin and there's a cabin there and it's got a little combination lock on these little brassy gold coloured and it's got numbers and I 
and I want to cry because it's awful. I don't, I don't like them. I'm gonna, I say, fuck them. I don't do combination. I to get a fucking, I had to use a combination lock coming in here tonight and I nearly fucking, I nearly cried again and the tears would have frozen on my eyes. It would have been like a little orphan in the snow and a wiry old orphan. Nobody loves you, you're far too old. You've got nothing going for you. You're wrinkly and sad and you've probably got prostate cancer <laughs> you've probably got prostate cancer why would anybody want to fucking give you a little card why would anybody want to send you a card at Christmas because you're heading out the door there's all these fucking people with fucking nice teeth and implants I wish I could afford an implant, but I haven't got an implant, so I haven't got the money for implants, but I'd think about it and I'd consider it, I'd consider it as much as sleeping with my friend Michael, in a different world, if I had a different upbringing, if I hadn't been born a Catholic, I might have embraced, joined in. This woman touched my palm of my hand last night after the gig and she rubbed her finger there and it unsettled me. And she was 19. She was 19 and she was rubbing her finger after my gig and I was and lots of things swirled through my head. But I'm old. I've got children who are 48 years old. <laughs> Life woke me up with a start. I said, get back, Jezebel. Jezebel. I, I digress. I knock on the door of the cabin and Ralph comes out and there he is. And there's like a bit of graffiti that says, Kurt Cobbin. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what it means. It's some kind of. It's some it kind means of, a lot. It means a lot. Is it some kind of wholemeal bread? <laughs> and he lets me in. Does Ralph lets me in? And there's like little wooden do there's doors. There's a corridor with doors on either side. And, and he brings me in. And he's got a paper. He's got a cardboard coffee cup and headphones on big majestic headphones and I want to wear them headphones but I don't feel I qualify. <laughs> yellow, <laughs> yellow. <laughs> and he said, do you want to put the headphones? Could you, you can see that I'm excited but and I said yes, gonna put them on and I put them on and I can feel the headphones just applying pressure to my neck in a kind of a curve. And he says, would you like to do some backing vocals for my new song, Killer Thrill? I said yeah. <laughs> He says, well, go in that glass cabinet there. So I went to this cabinet, like a glass a box thing, and there's a microphone there. And he says, right, there's some lyrics there. Just, just try it there. It's in C. I have no idea what C is. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Here we go. Right, there's all the lyrics. And the guy goes, Take me down with you, like you took me down before to the zoo. And you showed me the you. It's one of these nonsense that he's doing a kind of theme of going through a kind of a kind of a comedy madcap sort of phase. They used to do like Scar and sort of, they were doing a bit prog, but now they've got a bit madcap and zany, because that seems to be the kind of mood. So all right, all right, all right. take me down, down to the zoo. And let me see the you riot out. He says, that's not bad yet, but just can you just bring it up a level? Attack it a bit more. So, alright, yeah. <laughs> Take me down! No, he says, no, oh, fucking that's too much. <laughs> so anyway, we got there in the end, but I, anyway, I've got a piece. I brought a song with me and I've got like a piece of a song in my pocket and I thought I'm gonna show Ralph the song last and see what he thinks of it. He's a professional. Sure. <laughs> hey.
can't in it yet. There's no G on the fucking. Anyway. No, listen. This is. I'm fucking turning into Frankie Howard. No, listen. Yes, we're wrong with that. Oh, no. So anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I showed him this song that I'd written. I said, what do you think of this? And he looked and he went, that's good is that? Yeah, The Fix. I said, well, yeah, I like the lyrics to that. And I was like, wow. And I was like, it just given me, it bigged me up. And it's like, wow. And I, I don't remember, I was stunned and I went home. I don't remember going home. I just, I got home and I was so excited because Ralph had given me a positive kind of critique. But then about three days later, I got a phone call from my mate. And he said, you know that song of yours, the fix that you showed us you know, that a year ago, the one you, that you wrote? He said, I've heard it on Radio 6. <laughs> you know that band you like, that band theme? They, they did it. <laughs> that fucker Chris Hawkins. So, I got on the phone. I said, ah, Ralph. I said, you know that song I showed you, that song, The Fix? He said, yeah, yeah. I said, well, uh, my mate he said he's heard it on the radio. I said, yeah, I heard you doing it. He said, yeah, it's a good song, you know, we, we just we got it right, you know, I got the lads in and we just did it, it's fucking great. He said, it's my, it's my song, my song, I wrote that song. He said, he said have you got copyright for it? I was in tears, I mean, I just, because he's my hero. I'd looked up to him for like 22 years, I'd saved his fucking life. Well, he was on that. Well, he was. How, how the tables have fucking turned. And he did that to me. He did that. And I, he said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, give me some money. Put it. And the rest. Fucking rest. They just put the phone down. December the 23rd, he puts the phone down on me and Christmas was fucking awful. Me and my wife, I couldn't buy it, I couldn't do anything. I sat there in the kitchen. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, life, life will break into this story every now and again. Somebody needs to go off and get a bus, so. He's going, he's going to get his bus. It's more important, but I feel that he gets his bus. And here's for me to tell this. Because after all, it's just a common or garden story. Come on, we'll get that fucking bus going. Don't leave your pipe on the fucking piano. Oh, it's not even a fucking... I hope you get your bus. <laughs> Christmas is awful. We had a very dark Christmas. I was sad. My wife was a bit sad as well, but she she kind of can connect a bit with what I'm doing as a musician, but not totally because she works with autistic adults. So. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna make life, I'm making life difficult for myself. <laughs> I'm making it too fucking complex. So listen, I'll just... Come here now! Come here now!
so I can get to see a few faces. Matt, bring the lights up a little bit. Myself with an acoustic synthesizer. It's a wonderful machine. If you hurt a key, you get bad song. Hit another key, you hear the angel sing. Buttons are different colours Just looking at them gives me a thrill If you hit a yellow one you get football scores Leeds United for Man City nil By myself with an acoustic synthesizer It doesn't need a plug, doesn't need batteries Just turn the handle and give it a try Have a sniff and you can smell history If you wind it up you can hear it cough a thousand tunes that it's played through the years a thousand tunes at times forgot found myself with an acoustic synthesizer it's got a sticker on the back I tried to get it off but I couldn't get it off It's got a caramel coloured lid With an acoustic synthesizer It's got a handle on the side It doesn't need a plug It doesn't need batteries Just turn the handle and give it a try Just turn the handle and give it a try about a tribute band. When I was about eight years old, I was in love with this band called Theme. 
they had this lead singer called Ralph and he had long straight blonde hair and he had chiseled features and he wore powder blue jeans and he had big calves and he had like this like v-neck jumper with little hairs creeping out of the top and, 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 he, and he sang about passion and he sang about forlornness and, and I was eight and I was I was stirred by Ralph and I'm a Catholic and I'm a, a little eight year old Catholic being stirred by Ralph and I, I could feel the fires of hell coming around my feet and I thought I can't tell me that because he'd fucking stab me but Ralph, Ralph connected in a big way he was like he had this self assurance of an adult who was a mature man and I could see they'd been working out a little bit you know he had a bit of a you know. And even as an eight-year-old, I could tell he had muscle. <laughs> but the music they made was joy, it was perfect. It, it was a Les Paul. I'd never seen a Les Paul before. And there it was on the photograph. And it was Les Paul sunburst. And it was a beautiful thing. And it made such a chuggy sound. It had a real groin busting sound. And I tell you, I was eight. And my groin was busting. <laughs> And my mates came round and I said, I said, listen to this band, they're great. And we sat in the kitchen going red. We were stunned by theme. And we went out and bought some instruments, got guitars, and Dennis, he got a fucking drum kit in, and he's shit. He's got no fucking sense. You know, he'd be there and he just, you'd get 20, 25 seconds of him being rubbish, and then you get 18 seconds of him connecting with the beat. And we'd be themed for 18 seconds of every minute. We got older. We started to do little gigs, the youth club, and then we got older still and got to be, we had, we became dads and we got careers and we became design consultants and butchers, vegan butchers, you know, like was, we're in a fucking hip city. Leeds is very hip. We did this little circuit of pubs around Leeds. We had a very demanding job during the week, so we poured our heart and soul into these gigs. We were fucking animals on a Saturday night. We were panthers. We prowled the fucking stage. We commanded the fucking stage. We were fucking bastards on the stage. No woman, no man was good enough for us. Oh, we used to go on holiday together, we went to Italy last year and we go climbing together, there's us and the wives and like, there's a little party of about seven or eight of us and we're at the bottom of this mountain, we just turned up and we got out and we can hear there's a scream, somebody's struggling up on the mountain and so me and Dennis clamber up and there's this guy and we get the rope and snagged and he's, we get him down to the, to the surface and, and it's Ralph. <laughs> We go in the cabin and we sit down and it's like a table, there's little tables, it's like, you know, Scandinavian and there's like, you know, and he sits down there and I'm sitting here and we're close and then, and he's got a funny nose now, <laughs> the end of his nose has got a bit flat, he's got fucking lines around his eyes and I'm thinking I'm fucking better looking than Ralph now. How is it he can go off to fucking Venice, Vienna, playing Krakow and all these fucking places, and I'm playing at fucking Beeston? <laughs> but, but we kind of connect, we start to talk, and kind of the, the barrier falls away, and he's he's got a son called Joe. And I've got a son called Jake. <laughs> Spooky, eh? But there's a camera. We get 
get there's some kind of communion going on. And then my wife's standing in the doorway. She looks over and me and her are struggling. You know? We're not having a good time at the moment. We're not doing fucking quick crosswords anymore. And we're not getting fucking bruises on my arm from her elbowing me anymore. She sits across the table from me now doing patience on her app. Her up, she's got to sit down next to me and I, and I say, uh, this is, uh, she goes, I know who it is. You've been playing this music for the last 22 years. <laughs> but then we start to chat and like, there's a kind of, there's a, something happens between the three of us and we just, it, it, there's, there's joy happening. We're like, we're talking. We become like the three musketeers and we're laughing at each other and laughing with each other. Other mainly, but not at each other too much, you know. Just being together. It's lovely, the best ten fucking minutes of the last ten years. That, that little table with Ralph and my wife. And then the fucking foot of Ralph's phone goes. And that's the end of Tribute Band 1. I'll be warm, warm. The fuck's this here? I know this is here, yeah. We sell frisbees We sell CDs We sell t-shirts Small, medium, large and extra large We make money We got spreadsheets We have meetings we do soon. We are a business. Our business. And our business is a pleasure. A bit more truth, Matt. Doesn't matter because we're gonna carry on regardless. 
guys.
Lynn Max. I think I'm gonna have this jacket. No one's getting this jacket off me now. Merry Christmas, Mickey. You look quite the thing. And you ball it off. You ball it off. You look like a fucking. Candles burning all day, and he sits there sucking plastic. His mother, she comes round and brings him a bag of tea. Because he thinks, I've oh, just kicked the lights again, I'm fucking kicking the lights again. Thank God for that, I don't have to carry on this ride. I was struggling for a minute, but now I'm back on. Decided he'd had enough 
and he packs his bags and he headed off.